Boom shagalaka, today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the next most likely coin 200x based on a strategy that I used to pick out Kusama before it 85x, before I used to pick out Cardano before it 150x. You'll definitely want to stay tuned for this. What's up everyone, Randall here from Crypto Love. Today's video, we're taking a look at the next most likely coin 200x and I got to tell you guys, this has the potential to be enormous. We're gonna get into exactly why. Before we do, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, click the notification bell. Also, come join us over on Twitter at the Crypto Love, where every week we give away one of these sweet shirts. Just push the like button, guys. It helps out so much. Also, because, you know, Black Friday to Cyber Monday weekend is almost over, just to let you guys know, you're running out of time to get a discount on TradingView, 60% off, link down in the description and a pinned comment. Token metrics, 40% off this comes out once or twice a year you do not get this often and this is an awesome platform so link down in the description and pin comment also coin telegraph markets pro 20 percent off link down in the description any pin comment so make sure to check those out for yourself now before we go ahead and tell you what this coin is because clearly we want to make you watch four minutes of the video so then youtube thinks that people actually watch my videos because i'm interesting as opposed to kind of a just like you know edge you on a little bit well it should be said that clearly this is not something to FOMO your whole portfolio into. This isn't financial advice. Anyways, I'm just a guy who makes videos on YouTube. But if you put a little bit in there and then just wait, I have a feeling you'll be very happy you did. As a matter of fact, well, this one has the potential to be enormous. I am actually probably the most excited out of this project, out of almost all the 100x projects that we've talked about and we've talked about amazing ones like gala that one went gangbusters this week guess what we were in a long time ago when it was a lot cheaper like alluvium we got in very early on that one that one was super cheap like audius and like a lot more of other great coins that we take a look at and we buy when nobody else is paying attention and that's what we're gonna do today so guys like i said i made this video about kusama back in july of 2020 talking about how kusama could be huge and if you take a look back in july of 2020 which is right down here it was like seven dollars okay all the way before it went all the way up to 575 dollars before it 85 x we were talking about that one how did i know i was also talking about cardano back here in october of 2017 the chart barely even goes back that far back when it was two cents okay well, I was talking about it back then, before it went all the way up to almost $3, 150x, had you have bought it and just been patient. Now, how was I able to pick out those winners? Well, I'll get into it shortly, because I want you to wait the four minutes so YouTube thinks I make good videos, you know, you know. Anyways, I was over on Twitter looking at croissants tweets. I think you guys should follow this guy if you haven't already. He basically is on the up and up about what's going on with Ethereum. And as I was scrolling down, I saw this thread right here talking about the bullish case for ENS. Now, I'm not going to go through this whole thread for you, but if you want, I mean, it's quite long. You can read a lot and find out a lot about ENS. Now, if you haven't heard of ENS yet, well, there might be a good reason. It's because not everybody is talking about it yet, which is a great time to generally get into a project. Now, people may be talking about the airdrop and they're like, I'm butthurt or I missed out on the airdrop uh, again. But if they're butthurt now, they're going to be a lot more butthurt in like six months or a year because this project is being compared to investing in NFTs very, very early or even getting into Ethereum very, very early. And this has a potential to be absolutely enormous because it deals with web 3.0 and that's what everybody wants but this guy right here brahmel says my personal beliefs on the bullish case case for ens uh ens domains and most specifically eth emojis but before we talk about emojis we have to talk about ethereum name service and what makes it just so darn special so i encourage you guys to read that thread on your own now if we take a look at ens decentralized naming for wallets websites and more you're like but why do i need that because i can just go to dot com and dot gov and dot net and dot this and dot that and go dot yourself because if you don't see the value in dot eth you're missing out completely like how many times 
do you go to transfer ETH or some other cryptocurrency to your MetaMask wallet and you have to copy and paste this 72 letter code and then you have to make sure that all the letters are the same and you don't have some piece of malware on your computer that changes the letters so it sends it to another address. What if you could just type in your name dot ETH like they're showing right down here. And as a matter of fact, with Ethereum name service, you can actually do that. But that's just the beginning because what they've actually done here is Ethereum name service helps to correct two of the biggest problems out there in domain name resolution at the current time. One of them would be spoofing where you get stuff from what you think is the real site, but it's not. They're pretending to be the real site, but they're not. ENS corrects that. The other one is denial of service when somebody just spams the shit out of something and then it causes the server to crash. Well, guess what? ENS takes care of both of those things, which are the biggest things that cause issues. If you guys remember, the top of Solana's price was roughly around the, the time that their website got a DDoS attack that crashed their servers and it also crashed the price. So if we go on further, you can have your Web3 username. Yes, that's right. We've been talking about Web3.0 for so long. It's not here yet, but you can have your own username, something.eth. It's the most widely integrated blockchain naming standard as of right now, built off of a very trusted platform, the number two cryptocurrency, potentially could be the number one cryptocurrency in the next few years, called Ethereum. You might have heard about it. No, and it's not one of those dog coins. It's a different one. Now, as of right now, 477,000 names, 330 integrations, 192,000 owners. One name for all of your addresses. No more copying and pasting long addresses. Use your ENS name to store all of your addresses and receive any cryptocurrency token or NFT. Decentralized websites, so launch censorship resistance decentralized websites with your ENS, upload your website to IPFS and access it with your ENS name. You can use traditional domains, the native name suffix for ENS is .eth, which has the full security benefits of being blockchain native. You can also use ENS with DNS names you already own. ENS supports most DNS names, including .com, .org, .io, .app, .xyz, .art. So you can actually still have your .com name, but it can be on ENS, which gives you the protection of the anti-spoofing, which gives you the protection of the DOS attacks. And the ecosystem already built out on Coinbase, Rainbow, Trust Wallet, Bitcoin.com Wallet, with Uniswap, Etherscan, OpenSea, Aave, Browsers, Brave, Opera, MetaMask, Status, Cloudflare. So all of that stuff, they have some huge documentation. So you can actually go and read all about it because I just touched on it. There's a lot to know. This isn't some pie in the sky project. This is something that's absolutely huge, which brings me to how I was actually able to pick this one and why I think this one could be absolutely enormous. So if we go and see Meet the Team, number one, they're doxxed, amazing, okay? That's so rare nowadays because you just get these, dare say, shit coins that nobody's doxxed, nobody knows who anybody is. But completely doxxed team, and if you take a look at the team, they all have a lot of blockchain experience working with Ethereum and other things for a long time. But if we go down further, we can see managing the ENS route to facilitate possibility of upgrades and maintenance. The ENS route is controlled by four of seven multi-sig with members of related projects as key holders in the long term. We'd like the root multi-sig to replace some some sort of distributed distribution distribution making process. Blah. Anyways, but if we take a look at the team here of people who hold these keys, the seven multi-sig keys, we have Nick Johnson of ENS. We have Sergey of Chainlink. We have Dan Finlay of MetaMask. We have Taylor Monahan of My Crypto. We have Aaron Fisher of Colony. And then we have Jason Carver of Ethereum Foundation and Martin Swin of Ethereum Foundation. Big names here. Very big names. Which brings me back to this and this. In both of these videos I made a long time ago, when I made this video about a Cardano, I said, hey, this guy was one of the co-creators of Ethereum probably going to be a large project. Now at two cents, never did I expect it to go up to $3, but it did. Also with Kusama, back when it was $7, I said, hey, this guy right here, Gavin Wood, he's co-founder of, or Gavin Anderson? No, Gavin Wood, co-founder of Ethereum. Well, this project's probably going to be big, Kusama, and also Polkadot, probably going to be very 
big and sure enough 85x well taking a look right now at ENS we have a bunch of very involved people with Ethereum a bunch of very experienced people with Ethereum and a project that has a very awesome vision for what it could potentially do for the future of the internet you have to remember guys that people love the internet I mean spend all day on the internet and being able to resolve these domains without spoofing without DDoS attacks making it safer and easier for everyone this thing has the potential to take off so that being said where could it potentially go well first off if we take a look at the chart right now you can see that the price right now is a little, a little bit of a bullish megaphone so just kind of going up right now but you can also see in pink here this giant cup and handle formation the top one of the top bullish patterns out there most predictive as well number three out of 30 some predictive patterns according to Tom Polskowski's pattern site this thing is a very bullish pattern has the potential to break up huge so what's the potential we could be going to now we're talking about web 3.0 well web 2.0 was a lot of things like global e-commerce as we can see right now we have 23.8 almost 24 trillion dollar marketplace that's huge if we take a look at ethereum name service right now right now trading at 75 dollars market cap 1.5 billion dollars remember this is 24 trillion dollars this is 1.5 billion dollars so just a smidgen even if we take a look at ethereum ethereum is almost 500 billion dollars this is just 1.5 billion dollars this potentially could be as large as ethereum potentially because hey you know what decentralized internet thing of the future so let's take a look at some potential price predictions for where it could potentially go so first thing is people are comparing it to uniswap because uniswap had an airdrop the price pulled back a little bit and then went up uniswap was five dollars initially pulled back to two dollars and then went all the way up to 42 dollars so if we take a look here at ens guess what price went all the way up to almost eighty dollars and some and then came all the way down to roughly $40, 30 some dollars, and now could be heading back up. So if it were to do the same as Uniswap, going from $2 to $42, we could potentially, from that bottom of $30 where ENS was, remember right now it's at $75, we could potentially see an 11X, making each ENS worth $817. That's a very, very reasonable estimate that's not even putting it into like the top 10 on the first page or anything like that that's probably just getting it onto the first page so that's a very reasonable estimate about where it could go but you guys know that ethereum is building the worldwide decentralized computer so what if for this worldwide decentralized computer we have this worldwide decentralized web 3.0 naming service called ens what if now clearly it wouldn't take the whole market cap of ethereum but let's just say it gets 10% of the market cap of Ethereum. Just 10%. Well, you would 34x your investment, making you $2,526 for each ENS token that's right now is $75. So that's insane. But that's not all, because like I said, e-commerce is huge. And, you know, who knew that people would adopt cryptocurrency so soon, that they would adopt metaverse so soon? Who knows? web 3.0 could very well be the very next trend and well already well developed platform called ens ethereum name service if it gets 10 percent of that e-commerce number now this one may be a bit unreasonable but guys you would 1730 x your investment with each ens token worth 126 thousand dollars so that being said there is a lot of potential in this project and this one reminds me very much of how kusama was back when it was seven dollars of how cardano was back when it was two cents i think this one has the potential to be an absolutely enormous platform that's available on a lot of exchanges right now it's not very difficult to get to but nobody is talking about it at the moment as you can see here available on binance coinbase but right now nobody's talking about it i think this is the biggest sleeper crypto out there the biggest hidden gem out there that everybody should take a look at so guys if you did enjoy that video 
make sure to like it helps out so much just push the button simple as that just just like that just touch it okay also make sure before your time is up before cyber monday is over check out the deals on trading view on token metrics also on coin telegraph's marcus pro links down in the description and the pinned comment thank you so much for watching guys i will catch you later have a great one love you peace